Hey guys, the objective for this video is to determine the second moment of area about the principal axes using Moore's circle. So let's have a look at our question here. So we've got um, this shape here. It's a complex shape, but it can be split up into uh, rectangles and we want to use uh, Moore's circle to determine um, what the second moment of area is um, and the maximum second moment of area about the principal axes. So the first thing we're going to need to do is to determine what uh, the centroid is. Then we're going to try and work out what I X I Y and I X Y are, and then we're going to use more circle to determine what I max is. So we'll split this up um, into little rectangles uh, like this. So first, let's determine the uh, Y coordinate for the centroid. That's equal to five times one hundred for the area of this bottom uh, rectangle here. So 100 times 10 for the area of this bottom rectangle here, multiplied uh, by 5, the distance from our uh, coordinates here um, all the way up to the centroid of this bottom rectangle. So we'll just do that for the same for all those other rectangles, 10 times 100 times 60, distance from this point here to the centroid, plus 50 times 10 times 115. And then we'll divide that by the, all the sum of our areas. So remember the equation for the centroid is area times um, distance uh, from our origin to the centroid divided by the sum of the areas. So we've got 100 times 10 plus 10 times 100 plus 50 times 10. And if you plug that in your calculator, you're gonna get a Y bar equal to 49.